No fruit. No bananas. No oranges. Shopping on the 18th of March in Tesco. It's all pretty empty. Fruit. You see any milk? No milk. No milk. Oh dear. People have been panic buying. No milk. What do we do now? Is there any other? Oh, the rest of the shelves empty as well. No. There must have been a mad rush. The milk for everything. Finally, Britain schools are going to close today. A good two weeks later than they should have, and one week later than I forecast they would do. Over a month ago, as the government had been following the mad scientist doctrine of wanting to spread the virus via those most able to withstand and survive infection, i.e. children, who thankfully are being spared by the coronavirus, who were expected to then go on and infect their parents and thus eventually spread it to approximately 60% of the UK population so as to reach herd immunity and bring the outbreak to an end. A protocol that I have for several weeks been warning of was a recipe for disaster that would result in anywhere near from 400,000 to 1.4 million UK deaths far beyond anything any other nation has experienced as illust illustrated by the videos in this series. The government have been following this protocol because it's the cheapest and fastest way out of the coronavirus crisis. As saving lives cost time and money. However, following much outcry from a myriad of medical institutions who painted a bleak picture for Britain if they continued along the herd immunity path, that the number of deaths would number in the hundreds of thousands, thus prompting a public about turn or U-turn as an out of his depth Boris Johnson swung in the other direction promising to test upwards of 25,000 people per day as being the only effective means of managing the outbreak by identifying those infected and then quarantining them. Though the current rate of actual testing is barely above 5,000 per day. The UK currently has a capacity for 5,000 ICU beds of which 80% are already populated. The objective is about half of these will be vacated by the 15th of April with a planned 5,000 more coming on stream to a total 10,000 and then a further 30,000 high dependency beds to be made available. Thus the UK should be in a position to cope with about 30,000 seriously ill patients and approximately 8,000 critically ill patients by mid April. Unfortunately, government incompetence and negligence in not having taken the pandemic seriously enough by wasting the whole of February and only really starting to act in the wake of financial panic and street panic as shoppers fearing a shutdown, France and Italy style panic shopped, clearing supermarkets of all of their produce, literally leaving nothing on the shelves. So I've just come out of the supermarket. There's no fruit and veg. I had a little cry in there. I'm a critical care nurse. I've just finished 48 hours of work. I just wanted to get some stuff in for the next 48 hours. There's no fruit, there's no vegetables. I just don't know how I'm supposed to stay healthy. And those people, and people are just stripping the shelves of basic foods. You just need to stop it because there's people like me that are going to be looking after you when you're at your lowest. Just stop it, please. Which has now prompted supermarkets to implement policies of first one to three items per customer of any certain product that's in demand. That lately has changed to no more than two of any item per customer so as to bring a halt to the panic buying that began with the world's obsession with 
toilet paper as if it seemed to offer some magical protection against COVID-19 whilst the Bank of England attempted to stem economic collapse by cutting UK interest rates to an all-time low of just 0.1% with the bigger story being monetization of 250 billion of government debt that hastened the collapse of sterling which had been falling since last week's rate cut of 0.25% and in the wake of the government promises to spend as much as it would take to support the economy during the coronavirus collapse. As the government promised to offer imminent grants and loans to prevent companies from going bust and laying off workers as the people of Britain were urged to adopt social distancing so as to slow down the rate of infections that are literally going parabolic as I've been warning of for well over a month. UK coronavirus trend forecast update. The total number of infections continues to exceed my trend forecast on a parabolic curve, exceeding my forecast by 350%. My original forecast as of 14th of February was for the number of infections to target a parabolic trend from the then 9 at the time to 5,000 by the end of March 2020. The actual trend trajectory now suggests that the UK is heading for more than 17,000 officially recorded infected numbers by the end of March. Whilst the number of deaths at 144 exceeds my forecast by over 800%, which puts Britain on a worse trajectory than to where Italy was at this stage barely two weeks ago. So it does not board well for what is about to transpire. That I'm sure will spark even more panic amongst the general population as this now implies that the UK could be heading for over 750 deaths by the end of March. So it looks like the herd immunity is no longer on the menu but following that plan up until the end of last week means that the damage has already been done where I now would not be surprised if Britain's death toll over the next three months could even exceed 50,000, never mind the chaos of having upwards of 2 million people ill trying to get any kind of treatment from an NHS that would be in a state of collapse. All of which was avoidable as South Korea illustrates. Not only that, but Britain had advance warning from China, South Korea and then Italy of what was coming so had plenty of time to prepare for instead Boris Johnson's government listen to mad scientists with the herd immunity doctrine thus the UK has been giving advice to the elderly and weak to self quarantine themselves for the next three months as I suspect the herd immunity protocol has not really gone away just been watered down a little bit so as to make the death toll lower and more palatable to the general population than anything in the region of 400,000 to 1.4 million Therefore, likely targeting a death toll of at least 50,000. Coronavirus stocks, bear market trend forecast implications and AI stock buying levels. The rest of this analysis, including AI stocks buying levels, has first been made available to patrons who support my work. So for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts, then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month and ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel for the next video in this series in the wake of an unfolding catastrophe for Britain and likely most Western nations unless they get their act together but I think it's I think it's already baked in the cake Britain is heading for catastrophic two weeks at least maybe they can turn it around and prevent the nightmare scenario of 50,000 plus deaths maybe they can but they need to get their act together and act now this is no messing about